Good morning, I'm Mrs. Manick, head of Butler Montessori. I'm gonna read The Rainy Day Today by Anna Milborn and Sarah Gill. It doesn't tell us on the front who actually illustrated the story, but the author was Anna Milborn and the, it was illustrated by Sarah Gill. She was the person who drew the pictures. Big dark clouds are hiding the sun. It looks like it's going to be a rainy day. Have you ever wondered what clouds are made of? Sometimes they look as if you could cuddle them, but really, they're nothing but wispy mist. Clouds are made of lots and lots of teeny tiny water drops. Can you see the picture? Inside the clouds, the water drops grow bigger and bigger. After a while, they grow so big and so heavy, they fall right out of the sky and it starts to rain. The rain falls softly at first. Birds huddle in the trees to keep their feathers dry. Other animals hop and creep and crawl away to hide. You can see those little animals crawling away to hide to keep dry. Then all at once, it pours and pours. The rain makes puddles on the ground. Splish, splash, splosh. Snails like being out in the rain. Wriggly worms love getting wet. Frogs come out to hop about and splash in the puddles. I like the frog. Plants like the rain too. Rain trickles into the soil. Thirsty plants suck it up through their roots. These are the roots right here. The sun peeps out from behind the clouds and shines through the falling rain. A beautiful rainbow appears in the sky. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. As the rain stops, the rainbow gently fades away. The clouds float away across the sky. The ground has turned to squishy mud. Look, he's lost his, his boot. <laughs> A thousand tiny raindrops sparkle in the grass and little birds take baths in the puddles. The warm sunshine dries up all the rain. Slowly the puddles get smaller and smaller until they're all gone. It looks like it's going to be a sunny afternoon. See, the children are helping each other get their boots off. The end. <laughs>